Hello, I'm Tiffany Barsotti at HealAndThrive.com. I operate in the world as a spiritual and medical counselor, and I'm an ordained minister in the Church of All Faiths of Spirituality and Health. I'm trained as a medical intuitive and a spiritual counselor to be able to look at the psychospiritual emotional root causes for things that might be going on. My job is to be able to listen with all of me, that I actually am able to hear with all of my senses for what the body is saying and not saying. As I do that, I'm able to pick up on emotional packets that may be helpful to get you over maybe a, a stubborn issue or a repetitive disease or something that's been ailing you, or if it's simply just about coaching and just needing to get unstuck from a couple different patterns. Those repetitions that pop up in our life pop up for usually for a reason. And isn't it interesting that oftentimes we get into repetitive situations and it's usually the same situation, same type of situation, different people, different scene, but the same background. And if you've ever noticed that about yourself, it's usually because there's a subconscious pattern somewhere. And if we can pay attention to what that psychospiritual emotional root cause is, we can get to where that pattern is coming from. I'm trained by Carolyn Mace and Norm Sheely, among many other modern mystics. I've had the great fortune of being at Holos University, which is a graduate seminary, where we did medical intuition training as well as many styles within energy medicine and being able to deal with the spiritual side of why things come up in our lives the way that they do. So we're really dealing with the multifaceted and multi-dimensions that we are as humans. I, I find that this work is very effective working alongside of other physicians. I work a lot integratively with MDs, NDs, osteopaths, psychiatrists, chiropractors, psychologists, other healers. I really find that it is very important to be able to recognize that healing is really done in a village. We say that it takes a village to raise kids. I think it also takes a village to actually get us completely well as well. And there's an opportunity to be able to share in that from team aspects when we work with medical intuitives or psychological, the psychological aims behind why it is that we've gotten what we've gotten. My goal is to help you help yourself. I use my intuition to ask questions and I had a very wise teacher say, don't use your intuition to just give answers. Use your intuition to ask questions because this is more empowering. And though there could be handiness in that and certainly our ability to be able to just get an answer every once in a while is fantastic. But my job is to actually help you to be able to get your own answers so that you're not dependent on anybody in the future. And that was really the emphasis behind Morris Netherton's wisdom when he said, use your intuition to ask questions, not give answers. So being trained by Carolyn Mace and Norm Sheely really prepared me in a lot of ways of being able to work professionally alongside of all of these different type of practitioners, MDs, NDs, osteopaths, etc. And I really enjoy that method of being able to interact in the world and help you get to full healing and full wellness and be in a completely empowered state. You know, Buddha made a very cheeky but yet very wise, of course, statement saying, most humans have 83 problems and that he couldn't help you with the 83rd problem, of the, all, with all 83 of them. He could only help you with the 84th problem. And what's that? The 84th problem is that we all have problems. So be compassionate with yourself and love yourself anyway because problems are a part of life. My job is to be able to give you tools and to assist you on the process of living life effectively, making conscious choices and feel empowered. So I look forward to doing that together with you. And I offer a free 15 minute consult. If you would like to join me in doing that, please click the button below and schedule it. Thank you.